Well, if nothing else, we know that ethics and gaming journalism are safe for the next four years. I mean, what the actual fuck, guys? I woke up on Wednesday morning embarrassed to look my cats in the eye. I I looked at them like, I know your species is the one that licks its ass clean and eats carpet snags if I don't stop them, but we're the ones who elected Donald Trump as our president. So maybe you should feed me from now on. And look, I know the blame game was cranked up to 11 before the results from the Rust Belt were even in. All the Bernie supporters started blaming the Hillary supporters for not backing the more dynamic candidate. All the Hillary supporters started blaming the Bernie supporters for not getting more enthusiastic about the more moderate candidate. All the pundits were blaming the pollsters. The Democratic Party was blaming the electorate. The electorate was blaming the party. The news channels were blaming each other. And, you know, I kind of wanted to take the high road here and and do my segment on all of us coming together. But I just can't. Because they're all right. The Hillary supporters are right. The the Bernie supporters are right. And we should have listened to each other's concerns a little closer instead of blocking one another on Facebook. So, yeah, we've all got plenty of blame to shoulder this week. And with apologies, I'm going to go ahead and heap a little more on there, too. I mean, can we at least accept that some of the reason Hillary lost is American vagina phobia? And before you dismiss that, I want you to imagine a man with the same qualifications as Hillary. A man who had served two terms in the Senate, acted as Secretary of State, had been in the public eye for decades without any real scandals. I want you to imagine that this same guy had been pilloried by the opposition for the same lame-ass non-scandals as Hill Dog. He used the wrong email once. He told banks that the little people shouldn't always get what they want. He had a charitable institution that made money. You know, that kind of stuff. Just imagine Hillary, except with a penis. And tell me that you honestly think that guy would have had any trouble trouncing Trump in the general. Or if that's too much for you, try going the other way with it. Imagine Trump with a vag. Imagine some racist-ass woman that promised America she was going to wave a magic, bring back all the jobs wand, and lack the intelligence to pull off a convincing sentence. Imagine some lady that bragged about grabbing guys by the ball sack. Or, hey, set that aside. And just imagine a woman who had five kids from three different husbands. Imagine how quick the American electric would have been to gobble her up. Look, I'm not saying sexism is the only problem we have here. That would be as stupid as pretending it isn't part of the problem at all. But when your country chooses to elect a man who openly brags about sexual assault, passively fat shames women like he's doing them a favor, and blames tough questions on spontaneous menstruation, while at the same time overlooking a perfectly qualified woman applying for the same job, it's impossible to believe. Now, if you'll excuse me, I hear Edinburgh is beautiful. I need to research Scottish immigration law. So I'll go ahead and hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.